Good morning guys, this is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our weekly analysis. So what's really happening on the market guys? If you are new to this channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, right? So and this week it's where we're going to have FOMC or federal rates uh, actually. So or interest rates from the US and that is quite important. So that's the reason why we don't really entertain other ones that much. Uh, because the other countries most likely they will follow what us is doing that's why us uh, interest rates are quite important right so that is going to be on wednesday on wednesday around eight o'clock we're gonna have federal rates so on the estimate it's like we already know that they might not really cut the rates as they said uh, there is enough possibilities to cut uh, around September. So that will be a very good thing. But besides FOMC, we also have other uh, economic news from different pairs. Uh, so you can see that we have uh, interest rates also from JPY. We have a uh, core PCEAI from Europe and Canada. Let's see from Canada. What do we have from Canada? Oh, from GBP or Britain. We also have interest rates uh, on Thursday. It seems like they're going to cut. If I still remember last time, they did not really cut. And the one that did cut, it was Europe. So on Friday, it's NFP. Remember, that is going to be a new month, uh, which we're going actually straight to August. So next week, we're going to have a very fresh month. And yes, we, we, we will be eating. We will be eating. For those who want to eat with us, uh, they should uh, actually WhatsApp me or scan that QR code and talk to me. And guys, we are adding something very special. For those who want special signals, if you want me uh, to update you straight or direct uh, from your WhatsApp or your any other messages that you use, I can give you an update uh, you straight to your messages. I hope that makes sense. So which means we will just communicate and plan according to the account size that you have and we will be just sending those signals straight to your uh, messages and helping you to reach your targets or your goals right and i hope that will actually work very nice so if you want to be part of that just whatsapp me or telegram me check my description you will find that so what happened uh here okay we did smash us data by the way but unfortunately since i, I trade nasdaq i did not really take that but yes you can see that my people did smash this it's there on the screen you can see that so i will go straight to dollar index dollar index and see what's really happening so on dollar index you can see that you know man we still on that uptrend structure and even though the market is not really moving that much here it's because the market is just consolidating but if you can check yes the market is been actually showing us that it's willing to go even higher as we can see that the market is trying uh, to go up this is a very nice uh, uptrend that is quite see, uh, easy to to see so the question is since we're going to have rates uh, next week uh, will the market continue to go up or down so i think i think as they're not going to cut the rates I think something that can make the market to break the structure, it might be maybe NFP or maybe CPI, which are, are going to follow uh, in the coming days, you see. But interest rates, as we know that they're not going to cut the rates, so I don't think it will make the market to move that much. As they, don't, they, don't, uh, they are not going to increase the rates, that is not really a good thing, actually. And it's not really a bad thing so it means it's just neutral so at the end of the day the market might just continue consolidating here i hope that makes sense so but at the moment we are still bullish on a dollar as the dollar is still uh, moving above our support area so which means at the end of the day the market might just continue going higher unless if the market tries to break out i hope you see that i hope you see that so let's push to the next one uh, which is going to be usdjpy uh, on the usdjpy we can see that yes we are coming from a very aggressive uptrend structure we are coming from a very nice uptrend structure so the market here is showing us that you know what we already see a breakout so will the market continue with this downtrend or not it's up to the market so which means uh, jpy against dollar it's 
gaining some momentum but if we can check on our left hand side it seems like the market can still also uh, respect this area you see that i think that can be an area that the market can respect plus we can see that uh, the market already uh, bounced back there so but for to have a clean chart i think we can just throw something like this it's actually where the market uh reversed so from there we will see if maybe the market will be breaking out of that structure or not or maybe we can just say you know what let's go on for hours time frame and see what's really happening so this is what we have at the moment yes we can see that we have a very proper uh downtrend or breakout so now it means that there is enough chance that uh, the market uh, just uh we, there is enough chance that the market will end up creating some moves like that. And at the end of the day, yes, we can see the market is continuing on that downtrend. Already we did smash the market. I think it was around this area. So now we're just waiting and see because the market might just consolidate. But I'm very, very, very bearish. Already we, we broke out. So we, which means we're supposed to look for those sell positions. Simple as that. So now we are on GBP. GBP, let me just go on a daily time frame on this one. As we are on our weekly analysis so that you can see what's really happening. So this is what we have. We can easily see that we are no longer on that downtrend structure. I think the market will end up giving us something like that. Since we broke out, the market did play some games there, but I think the market might continue like that. I'm expecting a proper uptrend structure, even though at the moment we don't really have a proper uh, support area that we can use at the moment. But I think we are going to have something like that going further. Do you see that? Or maybe someone can say, Kenzo, don't you see that? Yes, this was is still inside our downtrend. So we still uh, we supposed to use it here because around, along the way the market will always give us something so we don't really have to force or guess as the market is going to give us something that we can actually end up connecting so we'll end up connecting everything nicely so but at the moment we will just rely on this support area or this previous resistance do you see that so we had a nice buy pending order there i was waiting for the market to go higher but the market was just playing games you see that so i'm still waiting for the market to bounce back i hope maybe uh, on monday or tomorrow maybe the market will try uh, to go uh, actually up but if it does it goes down it means maybe the market will be uh, trying to to break that support so now we are on gold what's really happening on gold so we can easily see that even on a bigger time frame like a daily time frame we can see that the market uh, it was on this uh, aggressive bullish move and now it seems like the market uh, it wants to go even lower so i think uh, it's i think it's clear on four hours time frame let's see let's zoom this let's zoom that this is what we have so we can see that we had a proper uptrend structure going up Guess what? We had a breakout. I think around this area, we also had a pending order, but the market kept going up. So I think this area is where the market actually broke out. So we'll see if maybe the market will be respecting this level or maybe breaking out. If it breaks out here, it means we're no longer going to think about that selling. It means maybe the market will just end up going higher but at the moment as long as the market is not doing anything crazy there or obviously we might have something like that going down we have to think like that i hope you, it makes sense so this might be something that we are going to actually look at but at the moment let's just relax and see if maybe we're gonna have that sell if that happens that is going to be good but it will depend if maybe they are not cutting the rates i don't think we're gonna see any crazy moves there i think the crazy move will come from their statement what will happen on the coming uh, event will they cut the rates or not or are they still waiting for for the events or are they still gathering uh, some information or data it's up to them i hope that makes sense you see now we are on us 30 uh, what's really happening on us 30 i think i'll have to remove this we did smash this one obviously you can see that 
So this is what we have. We can see that the market is been actually showing us that it's going up, even though that uh, Nasdaq did struggle, but US 30 seems to be trying to recover very aggressively. And I think that will also happen also on Nasdaq. I think Nasdaq, it was a bit slower, but I think we'll see the market going up. So you can see that the market was consolidating, going up, consolidate, going up. I think here we will see a continuation of that bullish move. Yes, the market sometimes, the market sometimes can just play around aggressively. Why? Because we have so much stuff going on. We have economic news that actually makes people to think differently. So at the end of the day, the market will just move crazy. But what I like is, even if it moves crazy, most likely it will still respect our trend. And as we follow the trend, this makes our job to be quite easy. For those who want to learn, if you know you want to learn, if maybe you know that you've been trading and you want to see results, if you've been trading, you don't really see results or you go up and you go down, you trade, you go back to scratch, you fail left and right. Yes, I can still assist you. I can help you. I can help you. So scan that QR code, uh, WhatsApp me, talk to me. You can uh, actually join our mentorship so that you learn. Or you can join our special signal uh, where I will be giving you special signal straight to your uh, WhatsApp uh, uh, messages to tell you whether to buy, wait, scale up so that we can have quite similar uh, decisions, you see. And I think you're going to see your mistakes as quick as possible. And, and I hope that you're going to learn. And I think this can be good for people who, uh, uh, that they've been trading. Even if you are new, but I think for those who they've been trading uh, for quite some time and they don't really see the results that they want, sometimes even on the ordinary group that we, ha we have, you might find that you don't really get uh, everything because... We just tell you buy or sell and we wait. But if it's a special group, it's where we will tell you scale up, get out very quick, get in, get in, add more positions and stuff like that. But you can't do that in a, a normal group, you see. And that's why I said sometimes it's difficult to send signals if maybe you want to copy exactly how I do it. Because sometimes I just see an opportunity that I need to scalp. And maybe the market is just moving quick. And we just get in two minutes later, we're out. You have to add positions. We have to close as quick as, quick, as, quick as possible. So that it's diff, diff, way too difficult if you're dealing with a group. But if maybe it's an individual that you talk to every day, I think it might be quite easy. And plus, they will be just focusing on very few pairs. That's why let me know if you want those special uh, treatment and just talk to me and we'll make that happen so on us 30 as i did explain i think we need to move uh, straight to nasdaq what's happening on nasdaq i think the structure is still quite straightforward the market has been actually going up for quite some time the market has been going up for quite some time until we had that breakout so on top of this breakout you can easily see that we will actually uh, look for a nice downtrend structure if the market reverses that is fine but at the moment since we're no longer on that uptrend i think the market is going down you see that but it seems like the market is struggling we see the market trying to consolidate there i was also expecting to see the market selling but i had to scalp here and there because i actually trade nasdaq you see so, but I'm still expecting to see some moves that might just consolidate. But as the market broke out here, the market has to convince me to say, you know what, if maybe we, not, we are no longer on that sell, the market has to go above this level where it broke out at first. Then I will say, you know what, obviously we now, we're no longer on that downtrend. But if maybe it plays around this area and go down, obviously we will look for those sell positions and we will sell. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So let's push to the next one, which is S&P 500. Quite similar to what we saw on NASDAQ. You can see that the market just broke out. And yeah, just let me show you this. You can see that we are coming from very nice uptrend structure. We had this breakout. This one is very closer to where it broke out. So the question is, will the market just play around here with this consolidation structure? Or maybe the market will end up going higher. It's up to the market. Sometimes we just need to wait. So we can't decide. But the, what I like is, since we are no longer on that, up, as since we broke out, it means 
that we are no longer on that uptrend. So which means we, we actually expect to see the market going down, but anything can happen. The market can break this resistance, then we will also change our ideas or whatever that we were thinking. Because we are not forced uh, actually just to stick with stuff that we see that no they are not going the way we want to see so yeah sometimes in the market guys we just need a focus 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 on very few things and stick to that you will get some results so now on us oil uh, this is what is happening we are coming from a very nice downtrend structure the market tried to go even higher but what we have here is a different story we see the market trying to go down so we did not really miss this one. For those who trade oil, if you checked our signals, you will see that we did smash this one. We had a nice sell pending order. Just look, the market touched our uh, our TP very quick, by the way, and then we were out. So which means we're just waiting for the market to either go to this resistance so that we can sell or maybe the market will be breaking this level and then we can look for a sell again. Simple as that. So we don't really have to make things complicated already the market is complicated so i will make sure that things are easier for you to understand and to catch up if you want to see difference if you want to be profitable talk to me man talk to me so here are the uh, contacts that we have scan that qr code whatsapp me then join the winning team so thank you very much this is Kenzo extra out forex don't forget to smash that subscribe button bye